Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video is going to show you uh, some 3D editing options and some will include Boolean operations named after the English mathematician George Boole and we'll also look at uh, some slicing and dicing but these are the commands we're going to learn in this tutorial the union, subtract, intersect, slice, solid editing, we'll have a look at the fillet command and 3D align. So it's a lot to look at so let's just get into it. So what I've got right here is four cylinders and one box and these can be any kind of 3D object but I've just selected these because well they show up nicely. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the union command. So I'll just type in union and it asks me to select the objects. Now what I can do is select select them all together if I wanted or what I'm going to do is start the command over and I'm going to select the box first and then this cylinder and you'll see that since I selected the box first this new object created out of the two other objects is on the layer of the box because I selected it first so if I undo that and once again start the union command and then I'll uh, select this green cylinder first and then the box press enter so now my uh, object ends up being on the green layer so it's very important which object you pick first because that's going to determine the resulting properties of your new object it's very easy to get lost in 3d but the thing is to when you're first learning take it slow remember the basics remember the commands remember your picking order just like when you were first learning trim and extend which order you needed to pick things in once again you need to keep remembering that so the union object works pretty straightforward you just select one object and that's going to be your resulting properties and then a second or more objects so now if I type in hide you can see where the this cylinder and the second cylinder have been added into the rectangle these two are still individuals so very similar to that is the subtract command and I'll just type in subtract and I'm gonna select objects and once again it's asking me because I always read my command line what I want to subtract from so I'm going to subtract from the block, press enter, and then what do I want to subtract? I want to subtract these two cylinders. And so I'll press, select those, press enter, and now you can see they've been subtracted from the original block. So once again I'll type in hide and you can now see I've got one object and it's got everything added, unioned, and two items subtracted. It gives me kind of a jigsaw puzzle. So that's really simple commands. They're really good to work with. Um, you're going to be using a lot of it in 3D because you're going to be building different things, building different objects together out of other objects. So I'm just going to undo back to my original block and four cylinders and now I'm going to show you another command and this is the intersect command so I'll just type in intersect and once again oops I'm this time I'm going to type it in and spell it correctly and once again object selection order is very important so I've selected my red box and now I'm selecting this cylinder so I've selected those and where they've intersected is what's the remaining object here 
and once again I selected the box first so this item is now on the red layer and if I type hide I've got half of this from where it intersected so I'm just going to redo that again intersect I'll select my box and I'll take this cylinder and you'll see what I'll end up with is just kind of a pie half a pie shape here half a cylinder and that'll be my resulting object between those two so I hope you see that and sometimes it's tricky when you're starting learning to see three dimensions on a two-dimensional screen and one other thing you can do with intersect is take more objects so once again I'll select my box my four different cylinders and a null solid created so I'm just gonna undo that so generally you're gonna be intersecting two objects at a time it makes it a little easier um, with uh, 3d especially when you're starting out go slow understand what commands you're working with and it's really easy to get confused if you go too fast so now I'm just going to erase my cylinders here I'm not going to need them for the next one enter and now I'm left with just my box and now I'm going to have a look at the slice command and once again slice command type in slice select the object to slice I'm going to start with my box because well hey it's all I got left and now I can select some points so if I want to slice it in half so I have two halves um, of this shape I can select one corner here one corner here you notice I'm snapping to the midpoint once again O snaps are very very important when using the slice command and after selecting them once it's figured it's where the slicing plane is then it's gonna say keep both sides and I'm just gonna press enter and what it's done is something I wasn't fully expecting and this is where the slice command gets tricky because what I was wanting to do was slice it in half this way so I got two flatter objects of the same shape so it's a lot of a lot of times you're not going to get everything you want done the right way and so um, I'm just going to erase that and another way of doing the slice command is once again select it I'll just stick with my three points I'm going there and now I've got one object here and one object here so it's all it's done is slice based on the two points that I selected so I'll undo that and uh, I'll try another slice here select it press enter I'm gonna go from midpoint to midpoint again and now I've sliced it in half so play around with that it's a very quick and easy command um, not a lot to it but you'll notice on the command line that there is uh, some different options for you so I'll select this one and I can go z-axis uh, XY all these different options so say if I go uh, XY I'll just type in XY specify a point keep both and now you see I've got that slice I was originally trying to do the first time so I'm just going to union and now I've got my solid object again so going back to the original one I wanted to do 
I will just go X, Y, pick here, and now I've got my two objects. So that's how that works. And one thing you'll notice once I've sliced, all I've got are the corner grips. I'm going to erase this and draw a new box. I'm going to have my first corner here at 5, comma, 2, comma, 3. Oops, 3. So here's another box. But you'll notice now, and I'll just put this on the cyan layer, is now that it's a box, I can do a lot more with it. So I can pull this side out and it's just like the stretch command you can see my polar coordinates and I'm just gonna type in one enter and that stretch that whole side out one unit I can stretch once again stretch this out three units and just expand and contract I can't go past it won't let me go into a negative so it's kind of like I'm extruding a wall, if you like. So it's another way of adapting and changing things if you need them to. Next one I'm going to look at is the fillet command. And I know you've used it in 2D. And the fillet command in 3D is pretty similar. So I'm going to select my object. and enter my radius of let's say 0.5 select an edge and there's my 3D filleted object right there and chamfer will work the same way another thing I can do is do the whole side of the block I'll do the whole top I'll just enter 0.5 again and now I can do a chain of these lines and now everything is filleted around the top and I'll just hide that so you can see how it looks and just the 3d orbit to show kind of gives it a kind of a jewelry box kind of look to it. I'm just going to undo these, get, get my box back, and I'm just going to draw a smaller box. And my center will be here at one, and this is where I'm going to do the 3D align command. So I've got two boxes, and let's say I want to put this one on top of this one. So I'm just going to type in 3D Align. I'm going to select my object. And what you'll find is in 3D, if I want to get the middle of this, I'm going to end up selecting a midpoint of this, this line and not the midpoint of the bottom of the cube. So I'm just going to go into my 3D orbit quickly so that I can see everything a little easier. So I'm going to go back into 3D align, select my objects, and I'm just going to use object tracking. And there's the center of my cube. And I can specify a second point and a third point so that it's aligned the way I want it to. Now my first destination point, I'm going to do the same thing. I want the center. There it is. And I'm going to align it to this end and this end. And now you can see that it's aligned right to the top. There's no, you know, since I used O-snaps and object tracking, it's not just floating somewhere in the middle, it's right on the very top there. 
So now I can just subtract this cube from the other. So there's my large cube, press enter and enter. And now you'll see that it has been subtracted. Now if I press hide, do the hide command, you'll see it's gone. But if I do my 3D orbit and look at it from a different angle, type in hide, you can see there's the top with my cube removed and subtracted from the larger block. So that's the very basics of 3D editing from some uh, simple shapes, but you can use those same commands on many different objects. Um, you know, regions will work. So try it out. Try a lot of different uh, editing. Just play with you know, your primitive solids and Boolean objects and see what you can build. Anyway, this has been my CAD site. Thanks for watching. Visit the website mycadsite.com for a free AutoCAD course with uh, over 60 tutorials and lots of videos. Thanks for watching.